phenom Lila Kalis could drive before she could talk. I played Disney. I guess you understand how to drive by my belt. Yeah, it's a translation. She said, excuse me, I just learned how to drive by myself. I dropped Lila in the car when she was 11 months old. Yeah. And I said, this is how you go, and this is how you turn. And she just instantly got it. You went in the shop? And now, she's an internet sensation. She has 33,000 followers on Instagram and over 100 million views on her Facebook page. Like, she doesn't really know and she doesn't need to know, you know? I just want her to have fun with it and enjoy it. Dad, Josh Kalis, a legendary skateboarder and street racer, fostered Lila's passion with batter and batter custom builds. They went G-Wagon, Viper, Blue Vet, Fast Blue Vet, Black Vet, and then what's the last car? Red Dragon. Red Dragon. Upgrading from a 24 to 36 volt battery, the Red Dragon puts any power wheels to shame. We had to change everything. We had to change the pedals. We had to add lead weight so it had a good, you know, 50-50 weight distribution. We put in a one horsepower brushless electric motor that's chain driven, a real brake rotor with two hydraulic calipers, one that controls the foot brake and one that controls the hand brake. All the factory body has been cut out and disappeared. And we built this full chassis back here, which houses the axle, you know, the brake caliper, the hubs, chain. I mean, this is all the meat right here. It's basically like a go-kart stuck underneath a power wheel. Action! It will go 37 kilometers an hour, but Josh limited it at 24. We scaled the numbers for her size and weight and power of this car and it equated to a 3,800 pound car with 1,100 wheel horsepower that had a top speed of 60 miles an hour. So, essentially she's driving something pretty gnarly. With parts and labor, it's a sweet ride with a $2,500 price tag. Jump change for developing such an instinctual driver. With her 360 video, she's coming in at about you know 13 miles an hour and just casually pulls the handbrake and as she's spinning she's looking at where she wants to go and as the car comes all the way around she switches and still looking where she wants to go and she's modulating the, the gas pedal to get there that's stuff that just can't be taught her talents even impress seasoned race car drivers today we're going to go to k1 speed which is an indoor go-kart track <laughs> it's a chassis we're gonna meet up with Bucky Lassus, who's a pro race car driver, and uh, he's gonna do some laps with Lila and have a good time. My name is Bucky Lassick. I'm a professional skateboarder and also driver of the number 81 STI rally cross car. First caught wind of Lila on Instagram. I couldn't believe that a little three-year-old was hustling this car the way that she was hustling it. I don't know if you've tried to teach a four-year-old anything. This is purely instinct. and. Uh, she has a very good um, view and, and understanding of how to control a car. Bucky suggests a way of preventing Lila from sliding out so much on the track. We are adding a, maybe a little bit of grip to the front. Not enough that Lila is going to be mad at us, <laughs> but just enough that when she gives it a little bit of steering input, it listens. He breaks down Lila's skills from the sidelines. The optimal way to go into a turn to drift it is with high speed. You have to have your eyes up so that you know where this turn is taking you. And initiating the drift, which takes some skill to rotate the car around, which Lila demonstrates very easily, and she gets that car rotated around, and she gets on the gas and drives out of it with her hands and eyes all perfectly dialed in. For a four-year-old, that's pretty amazing. Come on, Lila, come over here and go fast. Usually kids will look at us and they'll drive into us. Or drive into something. Yeah, yeah, it's like usually they'll drive whatever they're looking at. And she's looking at us, giving us horns, while she's modulating the gas and the brake at the same time. So Lila's got it. Today was awesome. Lila had an awesome time. Uh, I think Buffy was actually pretty impressed, you know? I definitely see a future for Lila. Um, the talent that she's displayed already with, uh, with these power wheels, and she has no fear. She just wants to win. That's all 
characteristics of a champion. Watch out, man. <laughs> Quite frankly, I don't understand how she doesn't have to spend the time on learning these moves. I mean, they have full schools for people to go learn performance driving, drifting, 360s. She just has it. You just give her a suggestion, and boom, she does it. But only if she wants to. For anyone out there that thinks that I'm pressuring her and making her take this direction because I'm in the cars and I don't have any say in it, to tell you the truth, you know what I mean? I come out here and I'll, I'll suggest something and she'll be like, no. And I'll say, okay. She says, you just sit down, drink your coffee. And I'll just drink my coffee and she's just cruising and I'll just bring my iPhone out, you know? And, and that's about it, man. That is a wrap. That's a wrap.